We're going to be demonstrating the Medit i500 iOS, the controllable scanner. And uh, the goal here is to show you how easy it is. So this is actually literally Nick's first day, and he's never touched an intro roll scanner. So the goal here is to show you how easy it is. We're going to do this with our friend Kilgore here. And Kilgore's got the uh, basically all the membranes to replicate an actual patient. So we've got the cheek. There's a tongue in here. We're going to use the Axis Official Tongue Depressor, which is a uh, 2HB pencil. And it has to be a 2HB. Uh, don't ask me why. Uh, so the goal here, and we're going to be doing this on an inlay onlay, which is harder than just a prep because of all the different cavities and different angles that we need to go to. So we're basically throwing Nick into the deep end to show you how easy it is. And if Nick can do it on his first day, when you have experience already and you already know what you're looking for, you're going to pick it up no problem. So with that being said, I'm going to let Nick go, and I'm just going to give him some rough guidance. All right? So here you go, Nick. Okay. Here's your tongue compressor. So here we're going to start with the maxilla, upper arch. So first we're just going to click on it. You hear kind of like an old movie projector running, and that noise is there to help you understand whether or know whether it's capturing the data and stitching it properly or not. Uh, there's also the green box, which is telling you green green for go, red for stop. So if it goes red like it just did there, it's telling you oh you went a little too fast, and I can't stitch that together. So just roll back a little bit and go a little slower. Um, so because we're doing the opposing arch, we want to focus mostly on the occlusal. And don't have to worry so much about the embrasures, uh, the data holes in the embrasures. And we just kind of want to work our way. Because we're doing the quadrant, we're going to stop at the canine. So just keep going a little further. We're at the uh, second or first premolar, since we're going from the, uh, the back to the front here. A little closer. There you go. Go back. There, we go. there you go. So we're getting close to that canine yeah. now. Right, and go towards the side of the cheek. And there we go. And that'll be good enough. So okay. just hit the button, hold it down. When you hold down the button, it optimizes and processes everything. And then it'll automatically bring us to the mandible, which is where we were at before. So now we're going to start with the mandible. Okay. Here's your tongue depressor. And there we go. Off to the races. Just keep going. Yeah. As you can see, he's working from the molars back, and now we're getting into the working tooth where we're going to be doing that inlay onlay, um, which is harder than any prep to capture the data with a control scanner just because of the adjacent teeth and the, all the cavities. Um, you have to capture all those angles to try and not leave any data holes as they're very important for the fit of whatever restoration you're going to be putting in there. As you can see, he's actually picking up rather nicely uh, even the embrasure in between the molar and the prepared tooth. Um, and so far, Kilgore has not gagged, has not fought us, and is not giving us any hard time. So, good guy. He's being great with us. And another advantage is that, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's no spray involved here. And these teeth are actually pretty shiny, which replicates saliva. So there's no spray required. Um, again, if you can't see the margin, if you're not using retraction cord or anything like that, no software will actually create a margin if you can't see it. That has nothing to do with the intro roll scanner. Um, it's just, if you can't see it, it's not there. So now he's moving back, he's just cleaning up the scans making sure he's not, there's no real big data holes. There we go. Check over here, just to make sure you have that angle. And we're all good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. There we go. Again, hold it down. 
So you just start it. To start the scan, you just hit it really quick. It'll start. And once you're done that scan, you hold down the button, and it will optimize and move on to the next one, which in this case will be the occlusal scan, or the bite scan. So once it's done optimizing, I will assist Tilgore because he's not listening when we tell him to close the bite. Um, so I'll hold him. And we're almost done optimizing here. Also, uh, it's good to know uh, for you that we are running it from this uh, notebook computer. It's an MSI uh, thin line with a uh, i7 8th gen processor. I think it's the 8750. Yep. Uh, 32 megabyte of RAM. Uh, it's got a half a gig internal SSD drive and a uh, NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphics card. So it does take some uh, horsepower to to process, uh, but uh, these things can be had uh, at Best Buy. Actually, that's where I had gotten this for about eighteen hundred dollars. Okay, free promotion for Best Buy. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we're on the occlusal scan. We got to tell it which quadrant we're scanning. So in this case, we're going to go on the patient's left. One click with the mouse, and off we go with the scan. go and you can see it's already linked the mandible to that occlusal scan so now we're done green's go yeah green is go so you're good to go okay, just stop that scan now because we're working on the mandible that's why it automatically linked it to that bite scan so the only one we need to do manually is going to be the uh, hold it down so that it processes it perfect the only one we're going to have to do manually is the antagonist and that literally is a two-point click. So I'm going to click on the mandible here to say I'm trying to link my mandible to that bite scan. I place one dot, one dot on the bite scan, and then that little chime tells you it's done. And then uh, after that, I hit that little check mark, and the case is complete, and that's going to process everything. You're done, you're scanning. Another option is that if you brush your teeth this way, it'll actually close mm -hmm. your puzzle right away. So there's many different options to do this, but as you can see, Nick on his first day, never having handled an iOS, knocked it out of the park, real easy. Took us, what, just a few minutes. So again, if you have any questions or comments, chime in, and again, give a hand to Nick. Have a great day.